All right, I'm going to work out a couple pro uh, problems off this equations leveled practice. So, kind of talk our way through some of these. Uh, this is number two. 9 minus 2g equals negative 16. Remember, we have an algebraic equation. Algebraic because it has a variable. Equation because we know what it's equal to, so we can solve this. Uh, I've asked you to do leave change opposite. That way you get your negatives attached to the correct things. So that coefficient is a negative 2. I'm going to do it both ways with cancellation and with rainbow. So I'm going to start with rainbow. Rainbow would look like this. For those of you that are struggling, start with the variable. Ask yourself what was done first. Since they were doing order of operations, they would have multiplied by negative 2. Then they would have added 9. And that built the number up to negative 16. And so we're going to undo that by subtracting 9. If you're doing a calculator, you need to hit equals right here. And then you divide by negative 2. The reason you have to hit equals is because your calculator will try to do order of operation. And we're saying no. Do it in the order I told you to do it. So I would get negative 25. Then when I divide by a negative, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And so our answer is 12 and 1 half. We're back to what g equals at 12 and 1 half. If I did it with cancellation, same thing. They did, they did. Let me undo. That cancels out. Once again, I get negative 25 equals negative 2g. Divide by negative 2 to undo what they did. Those cancel out, and you're left with g equals 12 and 1 half. Either way, you're going to get to 12 and 1 half. They're the same math, just a little bit different way. This rainbow makes you kind of think about order of operation a little bit more. So if you're struggling, start here. If you're good to go, work on cancellation. It's shorter. Number six. Number six says negative 9 equals w minus 8 over negative 2. Now, this is a fraction bar. It's a grouping symbol. So it changes the order of operation a little bit because they would try to get this answer before they divide it by negative 2. So... If I were looking at this, I'm still going to do leave change opposite. I would start with the variable. There was a W. They added negative 8. Then they divided by negative 2, which got them an answer of negative 9. They built it up. Let's tear it back down. So I'm going to multiply by negative 2. And then I'm going to subtract negative 8, which is the same thing as adding 8. Okay? And make sure on the calculator you hit equals right there. Negative 9 times negative 2. It's two negatives in a multiplication problem, so it's positive, 18. 18 plus 8 is 26, and that's what W equals, 26. If I did it with cancellation, I would still need to recognize they did this, then this, so let me undo this. Take this times negative 2. Take this times negative 2. So now we're at 18 over here, and these cancel out, and you're left with W plus negative 8. So I... Add 8 to this side to get rid of that, and I add 8 to this side over here, and you're left with W equals the answer to this, which is 26. Same answer. Number 10. Leave change opposite. Ooh, this whole thing doesn't fit on there, so I'll have to show it to you in pieces, I guess. Leave change opposite. There's the answer, negative 11. Maybe I can fit it almost all on here. Okay. Um... Distributive property. I want to get this distributed. So I have 5 times 3, which is 15. 5 times negative 4y is negative 20y plus 2y equals negative 11. Now I want to combine my like terms. Like terms have the same variable to the same power. So these have different signs. I'm going to subtract them. I get 15 plus negative 18y equals negative 11. And now we're in a two-step equation, so now we can solve it. I'll solve it first with, cancel, with rainbow. There was a y. They took it times negative 18. They added 15. They got negative 11. So we're going to subtract 15, hit equals on our calculator, divide by negative 18. So I'm doing it by hand, so I would get negative 26. Negative 26 divided by negative 18 becomes a positive 1 and 8 eighteenths. So I get 1 and 4 ninths. Y equals 1 and 4 ninths. If I did it up here, I would say the same kind of thing. Okay, they did this, then they did this. So let me subtract 15. That cancels out, which leaves me negative 18Y. Uh, if I did it over here, I better do it over here. Minus 15, which leaves me negative 26. They multiplied, so I'm going to undo it by dividing. 
two negatives becomes a positive, one and eight eighteenths, which is the same as one and four ninths. So y equals one and four ninths. <clears throat> that was number 10, by the way. I'm gonna block that out for a little bit. So, number 16. Number 16, okay, I can barely fit it on here again. Number 16, you have some fractions in here, so one thing I'd like to teach you is clear the fraction, okay? I need something that will knock out both a five and a four. So the common denominator would be 20, and that common denominator is the thing that will knock both of them out. I also need you to recognize terms. You leave change opposite terms are the things that are added together. So there's one, two, three terms. I'll be multiplying by 20 three times. So this is a gigantic distributed property. I'm taking this term times 20, this term times 20, and this term times 20, okay? Here it will cancel out and become one and four. Five and 20 cross simplify to go one and four. So four times two is eight. I'd be at eight W. 20 times negative four is just negative 80. Here would cross simplify and become a one and a five. So five times one is five. In other words, this thing, when I do it, becomes a five. So now I could go ahead and distribute. Five times W equals five W. Five times five is 25. And now, I have it all kind of out of there, but I have variables on both sides. So if I have variables, I think I have variables on both sides on this one. Is this number 16? Yeah. Variables on both sides. Okay. So variables on both sides, I want to get rid of one of these sets. So I'm going to subtract 5w, and I have to do it to both sides to cancel out. And over here, I'm left with 3w. I still have this negative 80, and it equals 25. And finally, we're in a two-step algebraic equation, which means now we can go solve it. So with rainbow, it would look like this. There was this W that somebody took times 3, and then they added negative 80, and built it up to a 25. We're going to subtract negative 80, which is the same as plus adding an 80. Divide by 3, and make sure you hit equals on your calculator right there. That'd be 105. Divided by 3, which I believe comes out even to 35, so W equals 35. Cancellation, it looks like this. They did, they did. So let's undo. Add 80 on both sides. It turns it into 3W equals 105. They multiplied, so we're going to divide. And we finally get down to W equals 35. <clears throat> we're 20. This looks ridiculously easy, and it is pretty easy, but people will mess it up because of the negative sometimes. So let me try to deal with that. Leave change opposite. How many H's is that? Well, there's one, an understood one there, okay? So if I look at it as a two-step algebraic equation, there was this H that somebody took times negative one. They added two, and that got them to 16. So let's tear it back down. Subtract 2 to undo that, hit equals on your calculator, divide by negative 1. So 16 minus 2 is 14. 14 divided by negative 1, that's 1 negative, so it becomes negative 14. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so if I do it the other way, of course, I won't I forget, I'm showing it both ways. So if I do it with cancellation, they did, they did. So let me undo. I'm going to subtract 2 and subtract 2 and get 14 equals. I'm just going to write this for just a moment without the 1. 14 equals, and we don't read this as negative h. We read it as the opposite of h. So if the opposite of h is 14, then what would h be? Think about that. If the opposite of h is 14, then h means I'm going to the opposite of what it was. would have to be the opposite of what it is here and get negative 14. You could also do that by saying... Oh, they multiplied by negative 1, so let me divide by negative 1, and it simplifies to h equals negative 14. All right, two more. 24. 24 is 31 equals 7 minus 2 times the quantity 5 minus p. Leave change opposite, leave change opposite, and if you want to, put in that understood 1. All right, distributive property becomes a negative 10 
and a positive 2p. I still have this plus 7, and I still have this 31. Okay, so all I've done is distributive property to get this out. Now, these two are, com are like terms, so I can combine them. That would be a negative 3 because the sign of the larger. So now I'm at this. We're in a two-step algebraic equation. So if you're struggling, go back to rainbow. Ver what's the variable? P. What they do to it? They took it times 2. They added negative 3. They got 31. Let's tear it back down to what it was when it was a P. So I'm going to subtract negative 3, which we can automatically go to add 3. Subtract the negatives, add a positive. I'm going to divide by 2, and I'm going to make sure I hit equals on my calculator between. So 31 plus 3 is 34, and 34 divided by 2 is 17, so P is 17. If I were doing cancellation, it would look like this. They did, they did, so let's undo. When I undo, it cancels, and I'm left with 2P equals 34. They multiplied, so I will divide, and that leaves me, when they cancel, P equals 17. Either way. All right, last one, 28. Number 28 says 3E plus 4 equals negative 10E minus 19. Leave change opposite. That just gets our negatives where they're supposed to be. Now, I have variables on both sides. I can look for distributive property. There is none. I can look for combining like terms. These don't match. These don't match. So there are, the like terms are on opposite sides of the equal sign. And sometimes you need to see that. Like, this is where it's split. I can't just put these together because they're on opposite sides. I can't just put these together because they're on opposite sides. So, no distributive property. Can't combine like terms. There are variables on both sides, so I'm going to subtract one set. Now, I tend to subtract the smaller one. So I'm going to minus a negative 10e, which, of course, is the same as adding 10e. Do it to both sides. These cancel out, so you're left with a negative 19 over here. And over here, you have 13e plus 4 equals that negative 19. So guess what we're in? A two-step algebraic equation. So what's the variable? e. What'd they do? Times 13. Then they added 4 which got them an answer of negative 19. Let's tear it back down. Subtract 4. Make sure you hit equals. Divide by 13. And of course, if you're doing it on a calculator, second PRB is the one we use to change it back to a fraction. So don't do this stuff in your head unless you're good with, with integers. If you're doing it by hand, leave change opposite. That becomes negative 23 divided by 13 well, it's one negative, so it's going to be negative. It goes in there one time with 10 remainders. And so E equals negative 10, negative, excuse me, negative 1 and 10 thirteenths. If I did it both cancellation, I would say they did this, then this. So let me undo it. Be careful again. Don't do it in your head. There we go. Negative 23 equals 13E. They multiplied. I divide. Those cancel out, and we're left with E equals, goes in negative one time with 10 remainders, negative one and 10 thirteenths. Algebraic equations, we've done some that had uh, variables on both sides. We did some with combining like terms that have multiple steps. Um, we did some with clearing the fractions, so that should be a decent review.